Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. Got car problems, so I can probably take the day off and do some videos about what's going on in the world. There was a magnitude 5.2 earthquake there off the coast of the big island of Hawaii, Kupuye Haile, that 1,307 people took the time to report. It kind of looks like it was felt across just about all the islands. Look at that. Yep, yep. USGS has it as an intensity level of 5. So that looks like it would be for the um, northern side of the island, which means it would have been felt nearly by everyone, waking them all. Some dishes, windows would be shaking. Um, some may be broke. Uh, cracked plaster in a few places. Unstable objects turned over. Disturbance of trees, poles, and other tall objects sometimes notice. And if you have a pendulum clock, um, that may have stopped rocking right there. If you hear baby uh, talking in the background, that's my one-year-old granddaughter. But here's the location using Google Earth of that earthquake. Uh, more than likely, we got a fault zone running through here. It looks like... Uh, past areas under the sea there in the ocean where we've got runoff from past tsunamis probably up over here yeah landslides actually i wouldn't say tsunamis but um landslides that created these channels dug them out and the weather one asking questions about the earthquake that's my other granddaughter who is five yeah they had an earthquake here honey yeah, um, if you notice this trough along here, this is where the um, weight of the island is actually making the island sink, but it, it's growing. So let's zoom in to where the level 5 intensity um, was probably felt right here in this location. Yeah, so we got a thousand, what? 307 people that reportedly felt this earthquake, um, which is probably pretty darn good. I'm sure other places. Um, let's go back to the felt reports. All right, I wanted to see just exactly. Well, we only got one response there. Four from there. Uh, 14 from there. And they said it was um, intensity level five. Five. Nine there. Um... 77. So those guys did really good in reporting the earthquakes, didn't they? Yeah. 27 there. And one from there. Five from there. Well, 13 from there. 15 from there. You guys did really good in reporting this earthquake. But I would say that this earthquake had nothing to do with any of the volcanoes along the islands. Uh, more than likely because there you, you can see right here there is a fault zone that run through here and we have been seeing more and more of these earthquakes around the world um, I really believe it's because of the earth's magnetic field is weakening um, they got evidence that the continents actually moved during the last magnetic pole reversal or flip whatever you want to call it and once that magnetic pole field or the magnetic field gets to um, a certain level, maybe about 5%, it, it probably will snap and then suddenly start bouncing around uh, until it decides where it wants to settle, the new <laughs> um, north or south or whatever. Um, the last time that happened, it took 10,000 years for magnetic north and south to settle where it's at now but anyways yeah that's interesting there's this fault zone through here and like i said you can see the channels um from past um landslides under the sea that created these channels so what are your thoughts thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for your support and thank you for your patience allowing me to have my first vacation and over 15 years please stay safe always be prepared for a disaster and i'll talk to you later
Can't play shop, bye.